So this is part three of my riff series on on the subject of the United States Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. To recap, I mentioned to you a couple ideas that you can ponder about if you haven't already done so, that you should strongly consider thinking about. And this is necessary more than ever especially in today's environment and you, the attack on your constitutional rights on the freedoms promised by the United States Republican Constitution which were founded by the Declaration of Independence and the Founding Fathers and it is so important that these freedoms are protected that you protect these freedoms that you send grievances to your selected politicians in your state in your country whatever it is that you're from if you are privileged to live under a republican constitution where you enjoy freedom of speech the freedom to pursue your choice of happiness where you have the freedom to assemble to practice a religion or to not practice a religion and so forth it is so so important right now that you strongly consider that you become aware fully aware of your surroundings of the information the data that is being presented to you whether it's through mainstream media social media or the internet and that you consider as many points of views as you possibly can consider without bias you can um, look to consider from extreme left uh, points of view to extreme right and everything in between which are also points of views gather data gather information gather knowledge see what's happening what is going on what are authorities doing what are they saying about what you can say what you cannot say how you can move how you cannot move are they making you question whether you truly have these freedoms? And are these authorities making you afraid of such authorities? Because you got to remember, the government is a public servant for the people. And it is... It is us. It is the common people who have the ability, the power, because we have the numbers to use our freedoms to, you know, uh, use grievances, complaints, and so forth. Because these people are using our taxes, our, our, our energy, and our effort that is use when we work and our monies are taken and what are they using these monies for so now more than ever we have to become way more aware about possible um, movements against our freedoms our constitution do they come from radical religious ideas? Do they come from radical um, political ideas? Who is promoting that your freedom should be taken away under war excuses? These are questions you have to ask. Now, I emphasize the point that in the previous riffs that it's most likely 
these freedoms are as described in the United States Constitution and as they were inscribed in the Declaration of Independence emphasize that they are God-given rights or natural rights because it is how we work. It is the body mechanics of our body that function. You have a body and you have a mouth and your, with your mouth we speak. We translate our thoughts through our vocal cords into, into speech. That's a mechanic. It's natural. It's what was given to us through, um, through nature. Our God-given abilities. You have a body that moves. You have the freedom to move and go anywhere you please. As long as, of course, you're not overstepping other uh, people's freedoms. You have the freedom to travel, to assemble with your friends, your family, with your club, your church. Um, you have the freedom to assemble and, and, and go to entertainment centers, you know, to a concert. If you're going to the movies or whatever meeting or gathering or form of entertainment you desire to um, experience. These are our God-given freedoms. So we can experience life. So we can experience joy and acceleration of that life that we have been given. If people are telling you you can't speak or say certain things, that is an attack on your thoughts. On the natural ability for you to produce or to think critically to have an opinion to have a question to have a wondering a pondering that is the mechanics of the mind which is resonated by your vocal cords your mouth your speech that's why we have freedom of speech and I'm going to take it one step further your thoughts and your speech are the foundation of of your creative ability your creative ability is here defined if you haven't already done so I will certainly encourage you that you purchase my book Blueprint for Immortality The Quantum Code for Life Secrets to Success where I specifically explain and describe in detail um, how quantum mechanics emphasizes shows us clearly and through several um, authorities figures that have lived in life who are experts in the field of physics field of uh, success philosophy and and spirituality and fully integrated explains to us that our thoughts create our reality that your life is a result of your thoughts, of your words, your speech. The words that come out of your mouth, the words that you speak, create your reality. It makes things happen. You can say that any statement you say, it's a call to experience. It's a frequency, it's a vibration that you transmit uh, in all directions. It moves heaven and earth and makes things happen in your experience in an instant based on the code of what you understand uh, was your intention of your original thoughts or the original words that you speak. This is why we have these freedoms. Because as long as authorities in the past have um, claimed authority over your thoughts and your speech, they are taking away your creative ability. They are suppressing your creative ability. 
your ability to speak and exercise faith and your energy to bring about your desires, your choices, what you desire from life. This is how we experience life. In my, one of my previous riffs, I, I encourage you to consider the thought from Margaret Thatcher, who was quoted, and, and she wasn't the only one that was quoted to say this, and I believe there was um, uh, what I think is a Chinese philosopher or, an, or a Hindu philosopher, I can't recall exactly at this moment, but she said that we need to look out for our thoughts because they become our words, that we need to look out for our words because they become our actions and that our actions become our habits and that as we look out and observe and watch out for our habits which form our character and the person that we become originated by our thoughts ultimately creating our reality and our destiny of what we are to experience in life and to take it a step further and this is something this is a secret a secret they don't want you to know about. Who is they? We're talking about elite members of society. Uh, not everyone. Um, some people have called them deep state. Some people have referred to them as secret societies. Um, among other terms. But they don't want you to know this. They don't want you to know this one specific thought. This one specific idea which is highly significant and is intrinsically connected to the concept of your body mechanics and your DNA frequency, your vibration. How your body vibrates your DNA code 24-7, day after day, week after week. Now, what does this mean? Remember, I want to emphasize... It has been said that you that you have to be careful with your thoughts because they create your reality. You have, if it's the basic principle is if you have positive thoughts, which give you positive words, which enforces positive actions and so forth, will bring about positive results in your life. You will create more love, joy, peace, prosperity, abundance in your life if that is the nature of your thoughts. But these mechanics are, of course, a double-edged sword because negative thoughts do exist. It is the yin-yang. It is the left and the right, the up and the down. It is the, the universe that is relative to all its terms. Um, negativity, toxicity does exist and can be created as well by your thoughts, which translate into your words and to your actions, which ultimately bring about the creation of your reality. But this is what they don't tell you. This is what they don't want you to know about. And is the point here is, is that through your DNA inheritance, and as you have lived your life, your DNA has been manipulated to vibrate at a certain frequency that keeps you locked in into a reality that may not be beneficial for you. So, how would you know? How can you know where your DNA is vibrating? How can you change it? You know, I can only give you so much information here in this riff. I'm going to emphasize again, if you haven't already done so, go to Amazon type my name Julian Valderrama or type the title of my book Blueprint for Immortality it is the quantum code for life secrets to success where I give you much detail and I, I, I build a foundation to help you discern why this is true and how for generations for centuries um this has been done to the population. Humanity has been programmed 
to vibrate so negative so that we would be locked in on a negative self-created hell where we would never become aware that we are the creators of our own hells and our hell fires but we would end up blaming other outside sources because of it and thus humanity has been manipulated into being separate it's divide and conquer it is it is about implanting the idea that it is us versus them that there's no unanimous decision as to living together as to harmonizing that's a lie we can do this but we have to know who we are how we function the basic mechanics of our body our freedoms our god-given um, rights and how physics works through our creative ability which is again through our thoughts and our words and This is highly significant. It's so, so important. And a lot of people are becoming more aware today about these ideas. But it's so important that we train our mind to think about these things consistently on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Because if we want to change the paradigm of our DNA and what we're vibrating, because if you look to your life and you realize that your life has not been the greatest is because your DNA through the bloodline through the habit thinking patterns of your parents and their parents and down the bloodline has been passed down to you to create a similar reality it is said that the apple does not does not far does not fall far from the tree And that's where it comes from, is that idea. You can, you can change your reality of something you don't like. You can create something better, improve you. But you have to know who you are. You have to come to a full comprehension of how your DNA works, of how your thoughts work, how your words work, how your actions work to create your reality it is imperative that we become that you become a master of your own life and realize how you function in life so I'm going to leave you with these thoughts and I will elaborate on this a little longer on my next riff so look forward to that but meanwhile I highly encourage you You go back and listen to the first riff on the United States Constitution, my second riff, and then listen to this one again. Take notes if you have pen and paper and write down ideas, write down questions. And I will highly encourage you again to uh, buy my book and, and read it and read it many times so that these concepts are ingrained in your mind, in your heart, so you know how to create your own reality. All right, look forward to my next riff. And uh, if you liked what you heard, uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think.